это же сейчас, наверное, затопит все. A grim milestone as nearly four million acres have now burned this season. Two major fires in Northern California are still burning, though cool weather and decreased winds are thankfully in the forecast there. The record-breaking fires have destroyed thousands of homes across California and killed at least 31 people so far this year.
Developing tonight, a United Airlines flight forced to make an emergency landing at O'Hare because of this. You can see the windshield in the cockpit cracked. A passenger we spoke with says it was all caused by a hailstorm. Nine people have died after a heavy stone compound wall collapsed and fell on 10 hutments in uh, the Mohammed Hills area. Bodies uh, continue to be trapped in the debris. This is the latest rain-related incident as both Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Last Wednesday's widespread wind damage from New York to New England was officially classified as a derecho. If wind damage extends for more than 250 miles, with wind gusts of at least 58 miles per hour. Cameron Peak fires burned more, through more than 20,000 acres of property in just 24 hours. Now, the fire's frightening run created this gigantic plume of smoke that could be seen across much of northern Colorado today. You can see just how far that smoke stretched. What a sight.
The skies above Colorado consumed in the dark plume of a wildfire disaster. This week, the monstrous East Troublesome Fire exploded, at one point racing at a rate of nearly 80 football fields per minute, oh my God. forcing the evacuations of thousands, fast becoming the second largest fire in Colorado history, now at nearly 190,000 acres, proving deadly. No matter where you were in Western Montana this weekend, you witnessed a historic event. Truly is one of the most remarkable snow events we've had. You know, in the course of all of Missoula's history, regardless of month, this is the eighth heaviest snow event. the only source of heat for many in day two of widespread power outages. The ice storms cutting power for upwards of 300,000 people, according to OG&E. More than 24 hours without power, prompting neighbor to reach out to neighbor in panic. which has it all. Rapids on Vulture Street a week after the Gava found nationwide glory. Above Warwick, a funnel cloud, tight and twisting, up to 125 kilometres an hour, near Laidley. Oh, oh, that. Driving was difficult on a mud road near Jimna with a cracked windscreen, peppered by pellets of hail the size of $2 coins. 